Welcome back to the Extra Period. I'm Matt Micah. MSU Women's Hoops were back in action yesterday hosting the third-ranked Maryland Terrapins in the annual Play for K game. And despite falling to the Terps 89-72, senior Tori Jankowska became the first Michigan State women's basketball player to reach 2,000 points. Jankowska led the Spartans with 23 points, and of course, as she usually does, she nailed a three-pointer in the second quarter to clinch the 2,000 mark. Tori and head coach Susie Merchant took to the podium after the game. My big thing is, since I've been here, is just keep getting better. Um, finding, finding the things that you need the most improvement on and trying to get better at those things. And um, looking forward, I want to get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, we got four winnable games for sure. And then the Big Ten tournament, we can make some noise in that. And then postseason. I knew the kid would be a very good player. I didn't expect her to be a great player, you know. But I didn't know what her work ethic was. And that is the difference. I mean, if there's kids out there that want to be like Tori, I'm going to tell you one thing. Get in the gym and work. Like, that is the bottom line. The difference between her and every other kid on our team is she's in the gym all the time. And she cares about... Um, how she performs every night, but she puts the work into it. You know, the kid was a three-point shooter that really didn't have a lot else, lot much else to her game. She got a pull-up. You know, we post her. She can drive now. She's become a playmaker. We've had played her at multiple positions. You know, it's just like I don't think a lot of the nation really knows how good she is. You know, she's within a point of Kelsey Mitchell. She's top five in this league. I mean, I think the kid's a top ten draft pick. You're crazy if you do not. Um, draft that kid. You're crazy. Her heart is bigger than anything. Michigan State will host Minnesota on Thursday night as the Spartans will go for the regular season sweep after winning the first meeting 93-74. to Michigan State men's hoops hosted Iowa Saturday night and defeated the Hawkeyes 77-66. to Our Grant Sislow and Davey Siegel were at the Breslin Center. It was a Saturday night in East Lansing at the Breslin Center where the Michigan State Spartans were facing off against the Iowa Hawkeyes for some men's basketball. Both teams are coming off losses last week. Michigan State had their loss handed them to the rivals over in Ann Arbor, the Michigan Wolverines, while the Hawkeyes suffered a loss to the Minnesota Golden Gophers in double overtime. This game that was played here played a huge deciding factor in trying to decide a spot in the NCAA tournament that will be coming up here shortly. Miles Bridges did not disappoint tonight. The freshman finished the game with a double-double where he scored 16 points and had 11 rebounds to help the Spartans get the victory over the Hawkeyes with a score of 77 to 66. Bridges found his stride early in the game and carried that momentum throughout the game. All four freshmen tonight had some double-digit scoring. Tom Izzo is here to talk a little bit more about that with us. I don't know why, I know. You know, I tell parents, I tell coaches, I tell everybody, I tell the media, you know, there's a process. Maybe I don't understand the process. You know, maybe I'm looking for too much out of those guys sometimes, but he did. He played like, like I think Charlie played as a junior and those guys. And um, he just was a lot more aggressive on the break. He ran his lane. He, he drove a couple times. Even when he missed shots, I thought he was just more aggressive. And, um, but boy, getting to the offensive glass, he defended pretty well. I think you see what Josh Langford can be. He's got a ways to go. He's got the consistency issues, but man, I was proud of him. And Nick, you know, he didn't play very well at Michigan, so we decided to bring him off the bench. And, and uh, maybe it was the haircut, you know, I don't know. But uh, he did. Uh, I thought Nick was as dialed in as I've seen him this year. And when he got a second ball and he had to come out, um, he stayed dialed in. As for the star in the Flint, Michigan native, Miles Bridges, he said that confidence is key, and he just wanted to play for his teammates and play around them, play off of them, and the minutes showed that, 16 points and 11 rebounds, like I said, but confidence for him and everybody on this Michigan State team moving forward as March Madness looms is key. Uh, it's, it's all about confidence. Uh, Cash is Nick, Josh, they're all great players. This is a confidence team, uh, and if you play with energy, then you're going to get those type of buckets. Buck, going back to Josh Langford for a minute, he was had some lofty comparisons, and he was compared to Michigan State legend Charlie Bell by Coach Tom Izzo multiple times in the postgame press conference. Langford postgame, though, said all he wanted to do was keep staying aggressive, and that aggressiveness on the defensive end especially would lead to chances and opportunities on the offensive end of the floor. Yeah, I just wanted to make plays for my team. Like I said, whether that's been aggressive, you know, by scoring, but you know, I just wanted to be aggressive in, in every aspect of the game. And I feel like, you know, we talk about the screens. I think um, Kenny did a great job. The second screen, he did a great job with the screens. And our bigs are just getting better. Bro. The Spartans will play the Ohio State Buckeyes on their home floor tomorrow night. Tip-off is at 9. 